Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update, upgrade to Mac OS High Sierra. So, we're assuming that you're in Sierra already, and we're going to update to the latest OS, which is High Sierra. Alright? So, you don't need to do it from Apple.com. However, you can, kind of. Alright? So, if you go to this right here URL, you guys can get more information about High Sierra, and you can also download the update from here. However, um, the proper way to do this is to go to your app store. So, if you see your Apple logo right on the top left hand side, if you click on it, and if you click on your app store, which is the third option up there, you guys will see this pop up. Alright, and in future, you guys should, should see this right away. Okay, if you don't see it, you can search for it. Um, updates, for example, if you go there, you will not see it under updates, all right? However, if you go to future, like I said, click on there, you can also click on search right up here in the top right hand side. You can type in what you want to see and then you'll see it, all right? So right now I'm gonna click on it. As you can see, it's not here anymore, but it is on the side. So I'm gonna click right there. And uh, before we download this thing, all right? So let's just... Let's just click on download for now because it's the first step is to download and then install, all right? So let's just do that. Make sure you have enough space on your Mac in order to do this. And um, all right, so before you guys actually update it to High Sierra, think about which apps will actually work with this new OS. So such as Canon. For example, if you guys use Canon Utility for your camera, uh, usually they take a couple months to actually update their apps in order for them to be compatible with the newest Mac OS. So if you use Canon um, software a lot, I just wouldn't update just yet. I would wait a few months because Canon's really, really slow. Now there's some other apps that you guys may have to even pay for the upgrade in order to be compatible with OS High Sierra. Um, and then there's other apps that just do it, right? So like Adobe, they're always on board and uh, they're updating their apps constantly so you shouldn't have too many difficulties uh, when high sierra just came out there were problems with illustrator and design with uh, pretty much just let's just say adobe right um so before you do the update like i said just make sure whichever apps you guys use and especially for work um just make sure that they are gonna work with the new os don't just assume that everything's gonna be uh, working all right so I would actually always assume the worst all right so I always research if my top apps will be compatible with this new OS before getting down to it and um, also before you guys go on and install this make sure to do a backup on your time machine or just back up your Mac all right so I highly recommend using time machine because that backs up all your Mac and uh, let's say you guys actually don't like high sierra there's way too many problems on it you guys want to go back to your os that you're in right now well if you guys made a time machine backup on it then you can do that and you can do that really easily without losing anything so this is time machine i do have a separate video showing you guys how to actually work with this um and even how to go back to um your OS before High Sierra, for example. However, um, it's right here, System Preferences. All right, so it's this little icon that you guys see down here, System Preferences, all right. If you guys open that up, you guys will see Time Machine as an option. Now, this works with an external hard drive. Do not use it with your own hard drive in your computer. You can, and that's not good, all right? So the proper way to use this is using an external hard drive, set up that external hard drive, and then just back it up. This will back up your entire computer, not just your folders, folder, uh, your folders, your pictures. It's gonna back up your apps. It's gonna back up the whole system. So you can actually go back. Um, and hence the name Time Machine, right? So I highly, highly suggest setting this up. Like I mentioned, I do have a video showing you how to set that up. In my channel, I have a video how to set up an external hard drive. They are not expensive at all, so I highly recommend doing that, especially if you care about your files, if you want to make your life just easy, all right? So, once this has finished downloading, you guys should see this. If you don't, don't worry about it. Here in the back, you guys can click on open, all right? 
So, once we see this, we are good to go. We can actually just click on continue. Now, before we do that, just make sure, again, I'm gonna say it, just make that backup, all right? And uh, we're gonna continue with the installation process. Your downloading time shouldn't have taken more than 30 minutes. If it's more than that, well, it could be your internet speed, but um, I wouldn't wait more than two hours for the downloading. I would just restart it up again if it's not getting there. Um, anyways, let's just go on with this. Click on continue. All right. So from here, let me just zoom in right there. And we're going to click on agree. All right. Agree again. And you guys have to choose your disk. So you should only have one. You have an external hard drive connected. It might show you that. But you guys should just choose this and then install. All right. You might have to put your password in if you have one. If you don't, don't worry about it. So let's just put in a helper. And there we go. So it's going to take a little bit and it's going to restart. Once it restarts, we're going to see this Napa logo, a loading bar. Then you guys should see something like this installing about 41 minutes or so. Um, so that's the time that you guys should see remaining. The real time that this will take is approximately an hour, not really 40 minutes. Um, however, it does really depend on your computer. It does depend how much files you got in there, um, how slow your internet is. It's all about that. Mainly about your computer. If it's very full, like mine is, it will take quite a bit of time to install the OS. Um, afterwards, you guys should see something like this. So installation in progress, calculating time remaining, and then obviously the bar will go, go, go. So you guys see something like this, 30 minutes left. And then once it's full and done, you guys should see this, all right? So this will bring you back to your Mac. Now you guys can choose whether to share your da data with app developers or not. Let me just click on continue. Once you guys click on continue, it's gonna setting up your Mac. And after that, you're all done, all right? So in my case, it actually did not connect to my internet. So it did forget my Wi-Fi connection, I had to reconnect. That's not gonna be in all the cases, but for some of you, you may have to reconnect to your Wi-Fi. You, apart from that, you guys shouldn't have any problems whatsoever, and you're all done. You're here in Mac OS High Sierra, all right? So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that I helped you guys out to see a quick glance of how you install this. And um, these, it all that you guys saw was exactly what you would see once you're installing OS High Sierra. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.